What's up guys, this is King Yanko and welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, we have a bit of a different video today. Um, we're on cheermaker.com, right? Yeah, that is the name of the site. Very cool. And uh, yeah, so I don't know, I've, I've, I've seen some um, I've seen some videos, you know, I've been browsing that a bit, seen some videos, some VODs on Twitch, YouTube, of people making these uh, soda tier lists, but I'm not a big fan of them, you know. I, I think they're kind of dog shit. I don't think these guys know what they're talking about. But me, I'm the I'm a gamer gremlin. I'm the greasy grease monster, the the absolute soda god master. I know what makes a good soda and what makes a bad soda. So I think I'm way more qualified than these folks to make a proper a proper uh, soda tier list. So that's what I, that's what we're gonna do for today's video. We're gonna go through all these sodas that I may or may not have had in the past. And we're gonna rank them because that's what we do. So starting off, we got Seven Up Cherry. Never had it, but I'm put, I'm putting it there. We got Diet Cherry. Never had it, but it's diet and that's fucking stupid. So it's going in F tier. Same with the regular Diet Seven Up. All right, and here we got Standard Seven Up. Uh, I don't know. My I I, I don't I don't think Seven Up is all that great of a soda to begin with. So. But it's nowhere near as bad as like a diet anything, so we'll put that in the D tier. Actually, you know what? As a matter of fact, uh, let's see, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. We are going to do this. We're gonna, we're going to create a tier underneath F tier, right? Make it blue. Sure, why not? No make this one blue because why not and we're gonna call this trash we're gonna call it undrinkable tier so there we go the diet sodas are going in there because it's it's soda it's supposed to be unhealthy the whole point of drinking a soda is knowing that you're killing yourself with what you're putting in your body so anything diet is going in here all right we, next we got amd cream soda Cream soda is a god tier, it's going in S. Again, diet, absolute dog shit going in the undrinkable tier. And we got, uh, this looks like a standard root beer. Uh, I don't know, I think A&W is pretty good, so A&W root beer, I should say, is pretty good. So we'll put it in the S tier. Diet, that, that's got dog shit. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Barks root beer, but still pretty good. You know, root beer is a pretty, pretty good soda flavor, in my opinion. I I put this one in the B tier, I'd say. Canada Dry. This looks like it's the standard cranberry ginger ale. Uh, I'm a fan of ginger ale. I'm a fan of cranberry. Easy B tier. Here we have... This is the green tea ginger ale from Canada Dry, it looks like. Uh, it's not, it's not bad, but it's not too great either. I'd say C tier. Diet soda. I mean, we already know where that's going. Standard Canada Dry. That's not what I meant to pick up. Standard Canada Dry. Again, a pretty good soda. Um, you know, gin again, ginger ale is pretty good, but I've had better ginger ales than Canada Dry, so I'm gonna put it in C tier. Uh, caffeine free soda. What the fuck is that? That's going in the undrinkable tier. Same with Diet Coke because it's diet. Cherry Coke. That's uh. That's it's it's good. It's not one of my favorite Cokes, but it is Coke, so I'll put it in the A tier. Coca-Cola, obviously, that's going in S tier because it's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Life never had that, but I'm pretty sure they removed something from it, so it's going in the undrinkable tier. Orange Cream Soda, or Orange Vanilla, again, S tier. I mean, it's, it's Coca-Cola. What more needs to be said? Vanilla Coke. Uh, these two are interswappable, honestly. I'd, I'd say those two are tied. They're both extremely good Cokes. Uh, Coke Zero, I mean, again, it's fucking... They're, they're taking something out of soda that makes it soda. Therefore, it's undrinkable tier. Grape Crush, if you don't think grape soda is... If you don't think grape soda is an S tier, then something's wrong with you. And uh, on top of that, it's Crush. And Crush is the best when it comes to the fruit sodas. So, um, yeah, that, that enough said. Diet soda, don't even need to speak, speaks for itself. Orange crush, not as good as grape, not as good as grape soda, so it's going to go here because it's crush. Peach crush, I don't think I've had this one before actually, but it's crush so it's going in A tier, cry about it. 
uh, pineapple crush. I don't really like pineapple soda, but it's crushed, so B tier. And then strawberry crush, that's pretty good too, so that can go up there. Let's see. Get all of these diet shits out of here. I don't know who the fuck drinks giant diet soda. It's so bad. Cherry Dr. Pepper. Uh, I don't think I had this one, but I like Dr. Pepper and I like cherry, so A tier. Again, diet soda. It it doesn't. It, it's 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 all equally bad. Don't even bother drinking diet soda. Dr. Pepper, pretty good. I'll put it in the A tier. In fact, I'll put it above the cherry one. Uh. Grape Fanta. I'm not a big fan of Fanta, but Grape is pretty good, so that immediately makes it A tier. Orange Fanta, I'd put that... Yeah, Orange Fanta is a B tier. It's not too bad, honestly. Pineapple Fanta is a C tier because it's it's all honestly not that great. Strawberry Fanta, I've had like two times. And for what I remember, it was, it was pretty good, so I'll put it in a B tier. Why not? I don't think I've had this one. Or no, I've had this Figo company before, or this Figo brand before, but I don't think I've had this particular flavor, so we're going to put it here. So I don't want to judge it. I don't want to, I don't want to incorrectly judge this. I've never had it, so. Fresca, again, I've never had one of those, so I'll put it there. I know my grandfather drinks those a lot, but I just never bothered drinking it. Mellow Yellow. Uh, I've never actually had Mellow Yellow, but it's supposed to... Apparently it's like Mountain Dew, and I don't like Mountain Dew, so F tier. I say that in Baja Blast. Actually, you know what? I had Baja Blast once. It was at a Taco Bell when it first came out, and it was a fountain drink, so I think it didn't mix properly, and it tasted so bad, so I'm putting it in the F tier just for that. Mountain Dew Code Red. Uh, I don't have too many memories of this one, honestly. Like, I'll, I drink it. I've drank it, like, maybe twice in my entire life. Uh... This may come as a surprise to you, but although I'm a I'm the gamer, you know, the gamer god, the absolute grease monster himself, I don't really drink Mountain Dew. I don't like it that much, so for that, this is going, I'll put it in a D tier. Standard Mountain Dew, actually terrible. I don't know how anyone drinks that and thinks it tastes good. It's literally just sugar and water and maybe like two carbonation bubbles. Don't know what the fuck this is, but it's uh, it's Mountain Dew, so it's going in F tier. Never had this one. Never had this one. Wait, this is Diet Mountain Dew? Undrinkable. Uh, yeah. Again, Mountain Dew F tier because I don't know. It's it's Mountain Dew. Enough said. Mountain Dew Voltage. I know people like this one. I actually know people personally, like I went to high school with who like this one. I have never had it, and for that reason, F tier. Let's see. I can't even read. Wait, I think this is the red, white, and blue one, if I'm not mistaken. But I've never had it, so for that reason, F tier. Diet Mug, don't need I say more, it's Diet Soda. Let's see, Mug Root Beer. Mug Root Beer is pretty good. Honestly, I like it more than Barks, so I'll put it up here with A tier. Uh, I'd definitely drink it over Fanta, but not over... Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh... Sure, that seems about right. We can re always reorganize that later. 1983, what the fuck is this? They're all going in here unless I see the word diet. Caffeine free, again, you're taking something out of soda that's supposed to be in it, immediate undrinkable tier. Cherry Pepsi's not too bad, but I'm not a, a I'm obviously, I'm a Coke fan, not a Pepsi fan, and B tier. What is this? Crystal Pepsi? Never had it, so I will put it there just to be fair. Diet Pepsi? Nothing. I mean, what more needs to be said? Let's see. Pepsi Max. I've never had that. I don't plan on having it. Just standard Pepsi C tier. It's honestly... I mean, like, if you, you drink a Pepsi and it's fine, but then you start drinking more than one, it's like, why? Okay, okay, this. Pepsi with the real sugar. I actually like the, those. And it looks like my favorite Coke isn't on here. The uh, ones that come with a glass bottle that also use real sugar. Those, that would immediately be an S tier. I've had a few of these Pepsis with real sugar, and honestly, they're not too bad. I'd put above normal Pepsi, but I wouldn't put it above anything else here. 
and then vanilla Pepsi that sounds really good but I've never had it so B tier RC RC Cola is that diet that looks like it's diet so it's going in there I feel like you know what I'm just gonna use this as a stand-in for uh all off-brand colas uh immediate d tier diet soda look like me who the fuck drinks that shit we got sierra miss sierra miss um it's not great so it's going into d tier sprite's pretty good stuff actually I, I like sprite sprite's a pretty good soda you know it's not not nothing too crazy i'd put it in a a tier definitely no i put it behind crush i'd rather have a crush Actually, you know what? These are that's Orange Crush. That's going at the back, uh, the way back. Uh, Sprite Zero. It's undrinkable. I don't know why any human being would willingly put that in their body. Diet soda. Who the fuck drinks that? Uh, Squirt. Never had it. Don't know what that is, so I never had it. Sunkiss. Ah, uh, out of the three like fruit, or out of the three major fruit sodas, at least that I know of, the Crush. Phantom and, and Sunkiss. Sunkiss is the worst, in my opinion. And Grape is pretty good, but it's still Sunkiss, so D tier. And then the freaking Orange Sunkiss is even worse. It's not Mountain Dew level. It's not Mountain Dew level bad, so we'll put it in D or uh, yeah D tier. Strawberry Sunkiss. I've never actually had it, but I'm gonna put it in D tier because it's Sunkiss and Surge. I never had that one either, so there. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is my definitive soda tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as you can see, I am the ultimate soda mastermind. I know exactly what makes a good soda, what makes a horrible, awful, undrinkable soda, as you can see from this tier here. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more high-quality content like this in the future. But that's, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.